Classification trees are a technique in multivariate analysis and they're used where we'll have a data set that has been partitioned into various subgroups which are described as classes and we want to make use of various descriptive parameters about each of the observations to see whether there are any general ways that we can use this information to put a new unknown observation into one of the classes that has already been identified by the technique. So within R there's a library called tree which allows you to use the function tree to do classification trees. So the first thing we would do is to make it available using the require command and then we're loading in a data set that's been taken from the UCI machine learning repository and as it says in the title here protein localization sites, it's information about uh, who provided the data. So if we then look at the summary of the data set, we've got 336 cases and eight pieces of information about each one. So one bit is the class and then another part or the rest of the parts rather are information that can be used to divide up the data to see whether we can predict and separate into these separate classes. So if we then take a look at the summary table here, this is the information that was provided with the data set of the numbers of those 336 cases that fell into each of the various classes. So we'll see that three of the classes are very rare, so it might be that we're not a easily able to predict those classes. So the first thing that we do, which has already been done, is to load the data set, which is stored in a text file, and use the head command just to look at the first few lines. So here we can see what the data looks like. So the last column class distinguishes each observation in one of the eight classes. So the first thing we can do is to use the xtabs function to do a cross tabulation and we'll see here that we've got counts for each of those classes which correspond to the counts provided with the data set. So that's just confirmation that data has been loaded correctly. So the function tree is to use to create a classification tree and it uses a formula as with most other models within R. So on the left hand side of the tilde we've got our classification variables. This specifies which group the data is in and then we add in the other variables linearly. So those are just the seven um, descriptor variables that we've got for each of these observations. So if we run that command and produce a summary just drop back to the console here. You can see there's only a small information provided here, so it mentions five variables that are of interest. Number of terminal nodes, so that's where we reach at the end of the classification tree. And then it's saying here that the misclassification rate is about 12.2%. So 41 of the 336 cases were not put into the correct classification. So what we can then do is to plot the classification tree and the text command puts on labels onto the tree. So here's an example of what it looks like. So we start at the top and the first decision is, is the ALM1 variable less than 0.575? If it is, we go down one particular path. If it isn't, we go down a different path. So you can see these terminal nodes are the points at the end where a decision has been made. So if we go back here, one thing we then might want to do is that's the full tree, but we might want to simplify things and see whether we can get rid of some of those decision points, but still come up with essentially the same level of misclassification. So we want to try and avoid overfitting where possible. So the cv.tree function cross validation to determine um, possible complexity of the tree that could be used. So we see our plot here, and once we get to about size of six, at that point we're not seeing much of an improvement after that. So we can prune our tree using the prune.misclass function and best equals 6 just comes from reading off that cross validation point and here we see we have a slight increase to 15.5% the misclassification rate based on simplifying the tree. So again we can do a plot of the tree that we've ended up with and here we can see it's a lot simpler. One thing to note is that we end up with five classes here rather than eight but the ones that are missing 
are the ones where we only had two, two, and five observations. So it's suggesting that it can classify the majority of the classes well, but struggles to uh, classify some particular rare classes.